Hi, my name is Mark Salamango, and I'm going to give you another little uh, hack for getting fit, some, some things you can eat. This is one of my favorite things to eat, um, and you don't really need very much uh, to make it. It's going to make these little chocolate almond bark type deals. Um, and so what you need is you're going to need some coconut oil. Um, we like the, the Kirkland brand, um, the Costco one, uh, any coconut oil will do. This seems to be the, the best uh, value. Um, you're going to need a, a chocolate bar that's at least 72% uh, uh, cacao. Um, and so this one's actually a mint chocolate bar. Um, whatever works for you is cool. Um, we're going to use some unseasoned coconut um, shavings um, flakes. And so those will be good. And then, you know, some kind of a small muffin tray would be good. Too much bigger than this and you're going to have uh, too much of a serving size. So I like to kind of keep them small. Um, and then you're going to need a pot and uh, basically it's called a double boiler or it's a bone marie or, or something like that. Anyway, um, and then uh, a measuring cup for uh, one we're going to pour um, into our, our tin. So that's really all you need. Uh, the way we're going to start is we're going to start by filling, uh, putting a couple inches of water into the pot. Next, we're going to take the pot of water and we're going to bring it to a boil. We'll be right back with some boiling water. Okay, so while the water is boiling, uh, I should mention that you're also going to want some kind of nut. Um, I use almonds when I make these. Um, you could potentially use cashews or something else as well. Almond is uh, probably my favorite of, of the things that I've tried. And again, this is a Costco Kirkland brand. So while that's boiling, or it's preparing to boil, what we're going to do is we're going to take, and I like to put two almonds in each, each one of the slots here. It seems to be the right number. nearing the end of the bag here, so getting lots of little shavings. That's okay. Okay, and then again, while this is preparing to boil, uh, I'm gonna put a little, a few, whoops, that's a lot, that's too much some shavings in each one. There's no penalty for screwing up on this because no matter what you do, it's going to taste awesome. It's chocolate and coconut oil. You can't go wrong. Set this aside. And we're not quite boiling, so we'll take a little break. Actually, we won't take a break. The other thing that we can do to prep is we're gonna open up our chocolate bar and we're gonna just break it into little pieces. Okay. And now I can see that we're boiling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over and we're gonna gently place it in uh, the pot of boiling water. You can boil it with this in. Actually, when you put this, uh, the double boiler in, um, it's gonna cool off the temperature a little bit. So it's not gonna be boiling as hard, um, but it's okay because we're gonna lower it to a little over a simmer anyway. So we're going to turn the heat down low 
And then we're gonna stir the chocolate. What we want is a nice melted consistency. And then the next steps are we're gonna take, um, we're gonna take it off the heat and we're gonna put a cup of coconut oil into it and melt it all together. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, so the chocolate is pretty much melted at this point. I've just been stirring it a little bit. I don't see any chunks anymore, so I think we're really pretty good. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna remove it from the heat. And at this point, we're gonna dump in a cup of coconut oil. And we're gonna stir it until it's completely melted. Oftentimes I'll take the top part out and just set it on the counter and it'll melt just fine like that, but it'll go a little faster if I keep it here in the hot water. You can also grab one of these. Keep it from clanging around. This is like my go-to snack or after, um, after dinner kind of treat. When you get that sweet tooth thing happening, all really good healthy fats um, in the nuts and in the coconut oil, um, even in the chocolate. And I've tried all kinds of different chocolates and really I haven't made a bad one yet. Um, the uh, ones that have chunks in them though, usually don't work out so well and you'll see why in a little bit. Um, but so just stick to something that, that doesn't have any chunks and you should be in good shape. So the idea is the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the completely melted chocolate and um, coconut oil into that uh, measuring cup and the only reason we're doing that is because it's easier to pour from there into the pan so this is almost done I don't think there's any more chunks in here stirred up good I'm gonna grab one more these grab this we're gonna move it over and we'll pour in here. And then we'll scrape every little last bit of this out of here because it's all awesome. Okay, now we're done with that. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that anymore. And now the trick is just to pour a somewhat even amount into each one of these um, muffin holes. So usually what I do is I'll, I'll go about to there and I'm gonna no doubt make a mess. usually take my time a little bit more, but so I don't waste any. This size seems to work pretty well. Um, if I uh, don't get a little too crazy and pour too much in the first few, like I may have, it usually goes and works out to be just about exact. All right. 
So now I go back and just hit the ones that I might have shorted a little. Oh, this guy needs a little more. When you taste it, you'll see why I'm being, why I don't want to waste any. It's pretty awesome. There's a lot of variations on this stuff. There are fat bombs, there's, there's tree barks, there's all kinds of good stuff. Um, so now I'm going to take this. Um, I'm going to actually, uh, one of the pieces that I didn't show you is... Um, and you can do this after it's been in the freezer for a little bit. Um, I put a little bit of salt on the tops of them. You get this uh, sweet and salt thing happening and it's fantastic. Um, I've been using uh, Morton Light Salt um, and the idea is there's some potassium in here as well as sodium. So um, I'm lazy though and so usually I'll just sprinkle a little bit of this on each one. And so the salt will live inside and not on the outside but I don't really care. Again, you'll taste it and it's pretty awesome. You could obviously pass on this if you want. Um, in the keto side, you tend to get rid of a little bit more salt. So I, I've been finding myself adding it to certain things. And this has been the one that I've been using. So again, Morton light salt. Okay. so. I'm going to throw this in the freezer for about 20 minutes and then I'll pull it out and I'll show you what we end up with. All right, so about 20 minutes have passed and we're going to check on our little chocolate cups. All right, so this is what they look like. Probably could use another couple minutes, but it's okay. We'll go with this. So um, if you spray the bottom of this ahead of time, they come out a lot easier. I didn't spray. I usually don't actually. I just kind of go for the pain. So I just kind of lay down a piece of parchment paper, a couple napkins, and I just kind of repeatedly drop it. A few come out each time. Um, and then what I do is um, I'll just grab a baggie and I'll just start putting them in here. And then once I have them all in here, I will take that, throw it back in the fridge, freezer, sorry, freezer. I've never put them in the fridge, but I kind of I don't know, the freezer, they taste awesome cold um, in the freezer and um, you know, coconut oil's kind of a, got a funny melting point. So um, I know that if you leave them out for a while, they'll melt on their own. So uh, we don't want that to happen. So it's always a good time to taste too. Pretty amazing. My dog wants outside. That's the bell you're hearing. The last few can be annoying. There you go. We zip it up, throw it back in the freezer, and for I don't know, I usually have one to two of them a day and um, you know, so they last quite a while. So hopefully this helps you. Again, it's just a nice healthy snack. Keeps me from missing any other things. Uh, I was never a big candy guy, but I am a dark chocolate guy. So this, this really works for me. So hopefully it'll work for you as well. And we'll talk to you next time with another tip.